back with a sketchbook. What is this, the third one? Yeah, third one. Thanks for looking at the other sketchbooks and the Cowie book. And now we're at the C plus sketchbook. If you guys have watched the earlier ones, you'll know that C plus came from whenever I was in high school, my, I'm from Oklahoma from a small town and my art teacher did not like my type of stuff, graffiti stuff, skateboard stuff, all that. She wanted you to draw like horses and cowboys and shit like that, which I was not having it. So she would never give me a good grade. Um, she would usually give me a C plus, like a 78, 77, 78. And uh, so as I started doing graffiti and stuff, C plus just kind of came naturally as a tag for me. And then it just kind of evolved to a signature throughout my fine art stuff. Then I just have kept onto it, uh, holding a grudge for this whole time, for my whole adult life. But not really. It just becomes a part of your lexicon or whatever they call it, like an icon in your library that you use. So this is the C Plus sketchbook, and I hope you enjoy. This is a little more recent than the last older ones that I showed you. Tried a little different layout with these. So this is uh, some more of that CK is dead from earlier. Um, I talked about it on one of the other videos, but um, whenever I was a painter and I was trying to sell artwork, I could never sell anything. So I would give a lot to people and people would go, oh man, once you're dead, this is going to be worth a lot. I was like, oh, well, that's a jerk thing to say. Why don't... Why isn't it worth a lot now? So I was like, you know what? If I'm dead now, CK is dead. Shouldn't it be worth a lot now? And it didn't work, but I thought I'd give it a try. And here's one, someone's nose, a nice modern house, landscape. Here's another modern house. Wish I could build one, but drawing them will have to do. Here's one of my old living room. You, know, you got the TV, an old painting, another painting, calendar, light, basic living room stuff. Um, this one was kind of inspired by Tom Kundig, uh, by Olson Kundig, a great architecture firm here in Seattle. Um, you should check out his stuff. He has a few books on his houses, Tom Kundig, K-U-N-D-I-G. Um, really cool stuff. He has a lot of like huge doors that open and stuff like that. That's what this is based off of. Oh, and then this one's um, based off of Dohosa. Right here, if you're um, an artist that does a lot of work in silk, just amazing. Like he recreated his whole apartment in I think Korea and New York City, fully out of silk, like three dimensional, unbelievable, gorgeous stuff. But this was uh, like a kimono I guess or something out of silk and he that uses like this minty green silk it just looks so cool like jade almost um, a lily skull guy pretty straightforward um, so this one was kind of inspired by Barry McGee a graffiti artist uh, also went by twist um, loved his stuff he did a lot of stuff with bottles and things like that so this was kind of inspired off of his. Um, this was a little truck I used to have, a 73 Ford Courier. Really cool little trucks, you should check those out. Um, this was my bike, if you guys watched the Cowie video. And then C+. Like I told you before, I'd always get C's um, in high school because my teacher didn't like my art and I kept using that as a uh, visual element in my stuff. Uh, this one was inspired by Basquiat. I'm sure everyone, if you're watching any type of art video, you know who Jean-Michel Basquiat is. He did a PC called Tower of Babel, Babel, and it's just car tires stacked up, and then he'd paint them, like just paint strips of white on them. Really simple, but really cool. Um, also, this one is inspired by Robert Rauschenberg. Um, he, his name was originally Milton, and he changed his name in 1947. So I just played with the name Milton. And I feel like I remember there being something else in here. Oh, C plus, I think, I can see it. There's a C. 
I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'm losing it. But I do remember I thought I had hid something else in there. Now it's hidden so well I can't find it. <laughs> uh, Loveless, this is my mother's maiden name. Um, and I always just thought it's such a cool name. But anytime I put it on stuff, I feel like people are going to think I'm very emo or something like that. Um, oh, and then this one, I got finished reading Barfly by Bukowski. And just kind of wanted to recreate one of the scenes. And this is just some bar that he's in there. People are eating. And then to the end, we started off with the clean golden CK's dead bullet. Well, now he's definitely dead because he's got blood all over it. So now... My stuff's got to be worth a whole bunch, right? And that's it. So thanks for checking it out. And we'll see you guys next time. All right. That was the C plus sketchbook. Um, Lilybomb.com. Mm -hmm. Get yourself a little something something. And, uh... Yeah, let me know if you like these or not, and I'll keep doing them. Please like and subscribe, and let's build this channel up, because it is not anything right now. Oh, man. Uh, thank you for checking it out. See y'all.